what's up guys, back again with another video. This time I'm going to show you how to install um, IntelliJ and how to make it look really nice so that you can have a nice coding experience if you're into that. So first off, if you have not installed IntelliJ or if you don't have it, you can Google IntelliJ in the internet and the interwebs and you can find this here, click here, and then you can download it from this website here. Okay, really nice. So you can download the community version right here, which is free, or you can download the ultimate version right here, which is fr uh, free for a certain amount of time, but it's basically for Java EE developers. It has extra features and stuff like that, but the community version is going to be perfect as well, okay? So anyway, just download that, install it, and you'll be good to go. And then once you're done, you can open it up, or it might open up for you. So I'm going to open up mine right now. Okay, so as you can see here, mine's starting up, and now I have this screen here. You might have seen this screen if you installed it and downloaded it and all that. So we can select either the light version of the theme, or we can select the dark version of the theme. So um, both of them are pretty ugly. The light version is way nicer than the dark version because the colors are all whitewashed and they're just kind of ugly. So we're just going to select this one for now, but you can select any of them, but we're going to change it in a second. That's the point of this video. So now you can click this and then uh, you can select what plugins you want. You can pretty much leave this as default as well. Then you could uh, select any of this if you want it. Um, I would leave all that as well. And then finally you could start the IntelliJ. And um, I'm going to show you how to make it look really nice. So to make it look really nice, we're going to be installing a plugin that allows different themes for your IntelliJ idea. And uh, we could uh, customize um, our IntelliJ and make it look nice with those themes, okay? So we can do that. It's going to be really nice once it is finally done loading, if it's going to take a couple of years or not. All right, so finally started. So we can create a new project, import a project, open a project, or do that. So we can just go ahead and create a new sample project so we can get started here. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is, we just need to get, in, get inside of the IntelliJ so we can uh, test everything out and get everything installed. So just click that and it should, should load a new uh, the project create screen if it'll work. There we go, so now we can select Java and I have Java 11 on the system currently so now I'm going to click next and then now we can select this for template and we're just going to call this uh, um, theme video, okay? There we go, so do that, and now it's going to create the project for us and load us into the project. So I'm going to be right back once it's done. Alright, so it's almost done. So I can close this, get rid of this out of my face, and now this is the basic screen that we have so far, okay? So it's very small, um, well it depends on how big your screen is of course, but it's very small for me because I have a big screen, 27 inches, wink wink. And um, so we can open this up here, see the project structure. And yeah, it's a very nice theme, and I mean, it doesn't look too bad, especially with the new update. They removed the window at the very top, so maybe you noticed that if you had this before. But yeah, it looks pretty good, but we want to make it look better. So if you want to make it look better, we can go to File, File, there we go, File. Then go to uh, Settings, uh, Plugins, then we can go to the Marketplace, and we're already on the Marketplace. So we can uh, find any plugins that will make our... So now we can install any plugins that we want. Of course, we have another one here called IntelliJ Light Theme. Um, so we could do that if we want to. But this one's really good here. This is what I want to show you. It's called Gradient, Gradiento, whatever that means. So yeah, that's what we're going to install. So if we go to the plugin homepage here, we can see how it looks. Um, it's going to open up here. And then we can see that we have these little themes here. So we have a purple theme, we have a deep ocean theme, and we have a midnight blue theme. It has special little fonts. And it just looks really nice, that's the point, okay? So once we install this, we can select any of these three themes here and switch between them at any time, okay? So let's install that, uh, click accept, and now we just need to restart for it to apply, so I'll be right back. Okay, so our program is started back up. So now we need to apply the theme, so we could go to, let's see, tools here, and no, it's not there, so let's go to file, settings, and we need to find it. So we can go to appearance and behavior, then go to appearance, and then now we have different themes here. So we have the theme, IntelliJ. So now we have these three themes that we just installed. We have uh, Gradantio, um, Gradiento, Gradiento, Dark Fuchsia, and then we have that Deep Ocean, we have Midnight Theme, okay? So my current favorite one is the uh, Deep Ocean, but um, let's try Midnight Blue, see what that looks like. Click Apply, and then now it automatically changes for you, okay? So that's pretty cool. Let's try Deep Ocean. There we go, looks pretty cool. Um, theme looks a little messed up right here, but we can fix that in a second. So I think to make it fix, you just have to restart, I think. Um, oh no, it already looks better, okay? But yeah, I'm just gonna restart to make sure everything is loaded well, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's loaded up, pretty cool. So automatically you can see that everything is all blue now, it looks pretty cool. 
And uh, for me, since I have such a big screen, I need to increase the font size. You might need to do that also. And also because since I'm going to be recording tutorials, you might, you might not be able to see the font. So I want to increase that for you as well, okay? So just click this, by the way, just, I guess, get it out of the way. And then, so yeah, if you want to increase the font or change the font in any way, we can go to File, Settings, and then go to, uh, let's see, Editor, then go to Font, then we can change the font here, okay? So currently it's Consolas, whatever that means, but we can increase the font by doing uh, this here. So we can change it from 13 to maybe like, let's see what 18 looks like, so Apply. And that looks better already. Um, so I'm gonna try 20 for me. Okay, it looks pretty cool too. So yeah, I'm gonna keep mine on 20 for now, but uh, you can change yours to whatever you want, of course. That's your choice. Um, so we can change the font as well. Consolas currently. I'm gonna just leave it how it is. But um, yeah, so if you're gonna increase this over here too, we can do that, I believe. So we can go to, okay, so if we go back here uh, to appearance, you can do uh, use a custom font if you want to. So I believe that's gonna make it look uh, pretty cool if we apply this. And nothing changed yet. Um, try applying this. Okay, so everything is bigger now over here. So that's interesting. But that I thought that would change. That's what I thought that was for. So let me just change this a little downwards a little bit. Kind of make it look nice. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. But yeah, y'all get the point. It looks way better now um, than, it look, than it looked by default. So if you want to do that, you can do that. That's my favorite plugin currently for changing the theme. But if you want another one, or if you want to change the theme, you can select any of these, others, uh, any of these other ones. But one more plugin that you can use for the theme is also one I used in the past. It's called Material UI. So material, if we search that Material, we can find the Material Theme UI. It's also very nice looking. So if we go ahead and click on this, we can see some of the themes that they have um, like that. The thing is, I don't like the thing I don't like about this is that there is kind of pale, just like the default IntelliJ theme, like the background is very white washed for some reason. Um, I just don't like that. So, yeah, but if you want to try this one out, you can. It's got a good amount of themes in there as well. But yeah, currently the one I like is the one that we have installed right now, okay? So yeah, that's about it. That's how you make IntelliJ look really nice. The only thing you have to do is change the theme and then of course increase the font size or change the font size to whatever you want it to be, all right? So yeah, if there's anything else you want me to show you for IntelliJ, I'll be glad to show you. If you have any questions about what I did today, you can ask in the comment section below. So yeah, also we have a Discord. If you want to join the Discord, there's a link below this video. So click the link and then join the Discord, get some friends if you don't have any, ask questions, leave suggestions, whatever you want to do. And yeah, and then if you want to be a member of this channel, you can support this channel by becoming a member by clicking the join button below this video. So click the join button and then you can join for $5, $1 or $10 a month and you can cancel anytime if you want to. Okay, and that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like if you need to see more, subscribe and peace.